How about that CrowdStrike action? If you're in IT, chances are your Friday was full of these blue screens, and if it didn't directly impact you, it was probably impacting a lot of people and or customers that you do business with. Just insane. Over 8.5 million PCs were affected by this. That's a lot of blue screens for a Friday. Just imagine walking into work. Maybe you're at a big corporation. You've got your coffee in hand, whistling. You're happy it's Friday. You got plans for the weekend. And as soon as you hit the floor, you see nothing but blue screens of death all around you. This is insane. I mean, I I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in my time in IT. This is just absolutely nuts. Uh, CrowdStrike dropped the ball, to say the least, and they caused a massive global outage. You know, taking out systems at healthcare facilities, hospitals, airports, Starbucks. So when I talk about coffee, you must have went to Dunkin' or something because you didn't get it at Starbucks on Friday. Uh, yeah, if you're in IT, chances are you're having a hell of a long weekend. Um, so, you know, stick through it, guys. I know there's a few workarounds out there that people are sharing, including CrowdStrike, but this there's no excuse for this. Someone, I mean, God forbid, I don't want to see anyone lose their job, but someone's probably getting fired over this, let's be honest. We should probably call this the uh, Falcon Friday fuck-up because that's exactly what it was. I mean, it, this is not. there's no excuse for this. Uh, as an IT professional myself, there's change management. This was not vetted. This was not tested thoroughly enough. Um, there's just no excuse for this. So let's get into it, guys. We're going to read through the statement from CrowdStrike. We're going to take a look at an article. Um, yeah, and let's just talk through this. What a nasty Friday. Thanks a lot, CrowdStrike. I think this right here says it all. Microsoft says about 8.5 million of its devices affected by the CrowdStrike-related outage. That's a lot of blue screens on a Friday, isn't it? I mean, that's just too many. One is too many on a Friday, guys. But eight and a half million? Woo, that stings. Ouch. All right, let's take a look at the official statement on Falcon content update for Windows host. This is a statement, I believe, by the CEO of CrowdStrike, but we'll, we'll get to that in a second here. Okay, CrowdStrike is actively working with customers impacted by a defect found in a single content update for Windows hosts. Mac and Linux hosts are not impacted. This was not a cyber attack. They wanna make that very clear. Uh, not that it helps, but yeah. This issue has been identified, isolated, and a fix has been deployed. We are referring customers to the support portal for the latest updates and will continue to provide complete and continuous public updates on our blog. You know, that's nice that they had a patch so quick and they rolled it out. However, it's kind of hard to apply a patch when you're sitting at a blue screen of death. Um, yeah, a little nasty. So from what I understand, uh, customers that were impacted, which is again, all over the globe, had to get into safe mode and rip out a specific driver file out of the CrowdStrike driver directory. That's a manual process. You're not going to be able to automate that very easily anyway. And when you're scrambling to get things up, think if you work at a company that has 5,000 desktops running Windows and they're all sitting at a blue screen. That's a lot of sneaker net on a Friday. You're getting your steps in. You're going to be walking to every single one of those, sitting down, getting into safe mode, going to that directory, ripping it out, rebooting, and then going to apply that patch and hopefully CrowdStrike did fix it. Um, where I work... I had a lot of third parties that were impacted and it took them a long time, you know, hours upon hours to remediate this issue. So, you know, my thoughts are, are with the IT folks out there, the desktop guys that are the sysadmins that are having to address these issues. I'm sure for a lot of folks, this is bleeding into the weekend. So, you know, stick with the guys. I've been there. Long outages are no fun, um, especially when it's not your fault, when a vendor, a third party huge name that everyone trusts causes this type of an outage. There's no excuse for it. Okay, so moving on. Uh, this issue has been identified, isolated, and a fix has been deployed. We are referring customers to the support portal for the latest update and will continue to provide complete and continuous public updates on our blog. And we're going to take a look at that blog here in just a second. Uh, we further recommend organizations are communicating with CrowdStrike representatives through official channels. Our team is fully mobilized to ensure the security and stability of CrowdStrike customers. We understand the gravity of the situation and are deeply sorry for the inconvenience and disruption. Uh, I, I mean, it's nice they apologize, but you know, I guess it is what it is at this point. At least they fessed up and didn't try to say that this wasn't their fault or something like that. 
Uh, we are working with all impacted customers to ensure that systems are back up and they can deliver the services their customers are counting on. We assure our customers that CrowdStrike is operating normally and this issue does not affect our Falcon, Falcon platform system. If your systems are operating normally, there is no impact for the protection if the Falcon sensor is installed. Below is the latest CrowdStrike tech alert with more information about this issue and workaround steps organizations can take. We will continue to provide updates to our community and the industry as they become available. Okay, so summary, CrowdStrike is aware of reports of crashes on Windows hosts related to the Falcon sensor. Crashes meaning blue screens of death, like you're shit out of luck sitting at a blue screen. Details, symptoms include host experiencing a bug check blue screen error related to the Falcon sensor. Windows hosts, which have not been impacted, do not require any action as the problematic channel life has been reverted. Windows hosts, which are brought online after 0527 UTC will also not be impacted. Yeah, but most hosts, is, you know, they're online all the time. This issue is not impacting Mac or Linux based hosts. Very small percentage of the market share. Channel file C000291.sys with timestamp 0527 UTC or later is reverted. Good version. Channel file C000291.sys with timestamp of 0409 UTC is the problematic version. So this is a driver file that they deployed. Note. It is normal for multiple C000291.sys files to be present in the CrowdStrike directory as long as one of the files in the folder has a timestamp of 0527 UTC or later. That will be the active content. So that's the one that you want. Okay, current action. CrowdStrike Engineering has identified content deployment related to the issue and reverted those changes. If hosts are still crashing and unable to stay online to receive the channel file changes, the workaround steps below can be used. We assure you our customers, we assure our customers that CrowdStrike is operating normally and this issue does not affect our Falcon platform systems. So I guess they're trying to assure you that yeah, you're still being protected. I guess you're super secure if your system can't even boot and get online. There's nothing to worry about now. <laughs> All right, but anyways, guys, let's see what else they say here. If your systems are operating normally, this is kind of redundant. They already said that. Okay, so query to identify an impacted host via advanced event search. So there's a KB where you can look at that. I was trying to see if they noted the steps here. Here it is, I think. Yeah, here it is. So workaround steps for the individuals that are impacted. Reboot the host, give it an opportunity to download the reverted channel file. We strongly recommend putting the host on a wired network as opposed to Wi-Fi prior to rebooting the system, which will acquire internet connectivity considerably faster via ethernet. So they're asking you to get this thing connected to the internet as soon as possible. So hopefully you can download that updated file before it crashes. This wasn't happening though. Like I, I know a lot of people in the space and this was not the case. Like you couldn't get your system to boot back up. So if the host crashes again, which it did, boot Windows into safe mode, which is what people were doing, or Windows recovery environment. Note, putting the host on a wired network. Here we go again. Navigate to the Win Directory, System32, Drivers, and the CrowdStrike directory. This is what I was talking about. Windows recovery defaults to the X, so it's just telling you to change directories to the C. Once you're in that CrowdStrike directory, you're gonna want to find this file and delete it. Do not delete or change any other files or folders in that directory. Cold boot the host, shut down the host, start the host from the off state. Note, BitLocker encrypted host may require a recovery key. So this was another issue. Uh, this was gonna force you to have that recovery key. I'm not talking about the pin. Everyone usually knows their pin if you're using that, or maybe you have network unlock and you don't have to use those keys. Um, hopefully you have your keys somewhere handy because if you were impacted by this and you had an encrypted drive via BitLocker, which most big companies should, and a lot of companies do, you were forced to go find that recovery key. So I know some folks that were actually impacted by that and they actually had to re-image their computer because they didn't have the recovery key. I mean, that's, you know, not really CrowdStrike's fault, but indirectly impacting them because of that. 
And it gives you some other options here for workarounds, but the one I noted was what was going around in the IT space. Uh, that's what everyone was doing, was getting in safe mode, ripping out that driver, getting it back online and getting the patch, uh, which isn't a lot of work, but it is a lot of work because there's a lot of computers and a lot of businesses. Normally, sysadmins, you know, we can do things remotely, group policy, whatever you use, SCCM, Intune, you can deploy things um, kind of auto magically behind the scenes that impacts, you know, a million computers, whatever's in your scope of reach. But if you can't boot and you're at a blue screen, you're kind of shit out of luck. You're going to be old school sneaker net visiting computers physically, which is the last thing you want to do as an IT professional. Uh, especially when you're talking about massive companies, there's skyscrapers out there that have, you know, 50, a hundred floors. And each one of those has thousands of computers. Think about that. This is a massive impact. Again, flights delayed, healthcare impacted, just inexcusable by CrowdStrike. Where's the change management guys. All right, let's take a look at their blog real quick. To our customers and partners, valued customers and partners, I want to sincerely apologize directly to all of you for today's outage. All of CrowdStrike understands the gravity impact of the situation. We quickly identified the issue and deployed a fix, allowing us to focus diligently on restoring customer systems as our highest priority. I mean, I'm not trying to be a dick or anything, but it's just still, it's not, it's, there's no excuse for this. Like, yeah, you found a fix and you deployed it, but the impact, the gravity of the impact here, guys, leaving people at blue screens across an entire business, that's a really bad Friday. That's a really bad weekend. So, yeah, keep your head up, guys. Drink some coffee and keep getting those uh, Falcons repaired. I'm not going to read this whole blog. I'll give you guys a link. I just, yeah, I just wanted to see who it came from. This is actually from George Kurtz, who is the CrowdStrike founder and CEO. So you know what? I will give you I will give you a thumbs up though, George. Like, uh, where's my thumb? There it is. Thumbs up for the apology and you know for fessing up to this. He didn't beat around the bush. He didn't try to say this was not their fault. He just came straight up and said, "Hey, man, we messed up, um, and we're here to help you." But again, just the gravity of the impact here, guys. Airports, hospitals, Starbucks, businesses. Yikes. That's a lot of impact. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. I just, you know, and I'm, I'm going on a rant about this, but again, being an IT professional for over a decade, I just feel for these guys that are out there, boots on the ground, having to address these systems. And again, it's one thing if your team makes a mistake, maybe you didn't test things thoroughly, change control, all that, that happens. But when it's a global industry leading company's fault, ouch. That really, really hurts. I mean, I hope there's something that they're gonna do from a financial standpoint, um, you know, take a serious amount off of the renewals for all their, you know, partners and customers and things like that. I don't know. They gotta do something in my opinion. Uh, by the way, if you have CrowdStrike stock, you might wanna check it. And if you're interested in picking something up, it's a good time because it's really on sale right now. It's tanking. Uh, this is an obvious reason why, but yeah, if you want to buy the dip, now's a good time to buy the dip. All right, guys. Hey, one more thing before I let you go here. I got a new microphone and I did do a, a little green screen thing here, trying some new stuff for my channel. Let me know if I sound okay. I know I was using headphones before and I got a lot of uh, crap about sounding like crap. And I, I knew that, you know, and my office is my studio. If you want to call it that is out in my garage. So it's really like my workspace, my gym. It's nothing nice to look at. So for now, until I get a uh, an actual physical location, like in my house, if I get a bigger house, I'll do something there. But for now, I got to work with what I have. So testing out some green screen action and testing out a new microphone. I'll probably do a review on at least the microphone and maybe a little video on how I set the green screen up and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I'd appreciate your feedback. If it still sounds like crap, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. It just means I need to learn how to adjust this thing. It is the uh, Fifine AM80, I believe. Had really good reviews for YouTube and things like that. So yeah, let me know guys. And hey, if you're out there fighting the fires for the CrowdStrike outages, I feel you, man. Like keep your head up. One safe mode, one driver delete at a time. You'll get there, dude. Hopefully you're making some sick overtime too. All right, guys, hope you all have a great weekend. Till the next one, everyone take care.